Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing a test on this single phase generator of mine. I have the system already running. I'm driving now at uh, 9 volt DC at uh, let's say around 800 milliamps. And the RPM it is doing. is uh, 1554 I have uh, as before all the calls are in series I'm gonna do a AC load test I have here a 20 watt 28 watt uh, AC light bulb it's a bit too much so I'm using my fluorescent tube which is a 13 watt and we're gonna see how uh, much drag it will put on the system gonna connect the tube now there it is tube is being light up system is slowing down let's give it some time it's slowing down uh, yeah pretty much and a lot almost coming to a stop let's test that RPM RPM is now 904 and still decreasing. Okay, gonna unplug the load. And now I'm gonna drive the system to around uh, double the RPM, which is uh, 3000 RPM. And then I'm gonna do the same uh, test again. using my uh, El Chipo Variac but it is working perfectly I'm increasing the uh, energy uh, bit by bit going out to 12 volts input uh, at, uh, at this moment 2 amps but it's going to get lower the system uh, has to get up to speed first of course Let's check the RPM. Yeah, not much. Only around 2000, so... Uh, but it's picking up speed. That's the reason I always start my videos with the system already running, because it does take some time. Let's check that RPM once more. Yeah, 2200. Hope you guys can see that. You folks out there, yeah, 2200. Still too low. Let's give it some more my juice. Yeah. I think I have to go around 18 volts inputs to get around the 3000 RPM. Almost there. 16 and a half volt DC at 2 amps system is flying it is uh, spinning pretty smoothly let's check the RPM once more yeah we're getting there RPM is now around 27, 28 When I'm done with this test, I'm gonna use, uh, as you can see, there's nothing on there on the output. Using it uh, directly and plain to the load. After this, I'm gonna put a capacitor in there and also step down the voltage because the voltage at this moment is way too high. Let's check the RPM. Yeah, almost there. 2986. Let's give it just a little bit more for it to stabilize. The 
it is running at 80 volts and say 1.2 amps, 1.3 amps, uh, 1300 milliamps, not bad. Check the RPM. Yeah. RPM is now 3067. I'm gonna do a short test first because I know some people want to see. I'm gonna short the output. Yeah, dangerous. The RPM was 3067. Let's see what it's doing on the short. It is gaining RPM. It's now the 3118. Remove the short. Connect it back here. So on a dead short, it will speed up the system, but yeah, that's only a dead short. Can't do much with that. Check in the RPM one more time. Yeah, it's pretty steady at the same RPM. 2100 and sorry, 3126. Let's do the short one more time to be sure that it is speeding up. RPM was 3125 and now 3155 so yeah 3161 so yeah on the short it is speeding up let's put a load on it and see what it does I'm pretty sure it's gonna slow down a lot so here we go nice and bright yeah I can hear the slow down not as much as before but still slowing down we had before uh, 3155 and this doing now 3000 and decreasing But as you can see, at this higher RPM, uh, the load puts, uh, the drag the load puts on the system is not that heavy as it was at lower RPM. In other words, maybe if I go to 3000 and a half RPM, it will speed up also on this load. Maybe. I'm pretty sure it will. Let's give it some time. Let's check that light in the dark. The light you see now in my basement or laboratory, sorry, is the light coming off that 13 watt fluorescent tube. And I must say the light is pretty good. Oh yeah, and the input is 18 volts at 1.6 amps. So that's about um, uh, 30 watts, 33 watts, something like that. Yeah, something like that. I will put it in the annotations as always. Let's check the RPM one more time. It's still decreasing a little bit, as you can see on the meter here. So it went from 31.55 to let's say 27.55 is 300 RPM, no, 400 RPM drop. Yeah, something like that. Gonna disconnect the load. Uh, oh, the video is always almost 10 minutes already. You know what? If you folks are patient, I'm gonna drive the system to 3500 RPM. I haven't done this test yet. I'm doing it now and recording at the same time, so everything that happens now is also new for me. I'm gonna give it some more juice. Going for 20 volts.
Hopefully nothing will blow in my face. Nah, I don't think so. Uh, I don't hope so. <laughs> That's better. Let's check that RPM. Yeah, 33, sorry, 32.90. 3,300. Yeah, let's give it some more time. And a little bit more juice. It's now at 21 volt DC at uh, 1.8 amps. That's almost 40 watts, let's say 36 watts, something like that. Still not bad. Checking the RPM. Almost at 3500. Yeah, you can see that. Just a little bit more. Then we're gonna try it. It is now at uh, 22 volts DC at, yeah, let's say 1.9 amps. And the heatsink of my MOSFET. Uh, slightly warm, not that bad. Yeah, we're there. 3577. Time to load it down. Here comes the load with a lot of sparks. Let's see now how much will it slow down than before. Before it was around 400 RPM. I will write all the stuff in the uh, with annotation in the video. Yeah, it was 400 RPM average. It was still decreasing a little bit. So let's see how much it will decrease now. It was 25, sorry, 35.73, and it is now. Oh, not bad at all. As you can see, 3500. But the decrease rate is pretty, pretty slow. Yeah. Let me shut everything off. The output is not bad. I would say it's. Uh, yeah, I don't have. I haven't measured it, but. Um, this looks pretty good, around maybe 10 watts, just looking at it, not more. Anyway, but uh, this video is not about the compare, uh, how, say, um, how do you say that? This video is not about comparing the input with the output, it's about looking what a load does with the system. As you can see, the higher going RPM the less effect the load has on the system. Meaning, I went from uh, around 3000 to 3500. System is still slowing down. There's no input now, zero volts, zero amps. Light is still on. Uh, so in other words, if I should go to around 37 and a half thousand RPM, I might get a very nice effect. But to tell you too, I'm always a little bit scared of dri driving my system at that kind of speed. I should box them in, but I don't like to box my stuff in, you know? It's like boxing in your own mind. But anyway. Ah. The tube is off. It's out. Still connected. System is almost to halt. Okay. I think this video is long enough. I'm gonna uh, drive it at a higher RPM and we'll let you see that in the next video about it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and as always, thank you for watching.